If any of you have been on the web recently, you, or visited campus, you've seen the tremendous project of the, the Rector Science Campus. We are in the second stage of a major uh, commitment to the sciences at Dickinson. The first phase was what is now called the Tome Science Building, where our observatory is located. The second phase is occurring right now, and it's part of the current campaign. Uh, we raised $30 million for that. Uh, ironically, and I don't think I'm going too far on this, it's the first time in Dickinson's history that we've actually paid for a major building before we built it. Very good thing, I might add. And we received uh, an initial gift of $13.5 million from the Rector family, uh, and that indeed may still grow. And then there's a third part that has yet to be built, and that will be uh, behind, if you're looking at where the science complex is, it will be behind the current uh, wings or buildings that are being constructed. Now, some might say, why this commitment to science at Dickinson? Well, interestingly, the college was founded to provide a liberal arts college which was sympathetic to the sciences also. And if you look at our seal, and yes, the seal does still exist. The seal is used for all official purposes. We use the mark simply for advertising or marketing purposes, for public relations purposes. If you look at the seal, the symbol for knowledge chosen by Dr. Rush, the words were done by John Dickinson, the symbols were by Dr. Rush. The symbol of knowledge is a telescope. It's scientific. And so Dickinson, again, was intended to show that the sciences are a vital, essential part of the liberal arts in the United States. And Dickinson has had historically remarkable success with the sciences. And today, not only producing people who go on to be physicians or people who go on to be in the medical uh, health professions, but Dickinson is producing research scientists people uh, who will engage in the new discoveries that are so essential for humankind and for the rest of the world uh, that we are involved with. And I'm also delighted that we have had a tremendous growth, something like 75% growth in science majors over the last 10 years at Dickinson. And we've had an incredible increase in the number of women in science at Dickinson. As a matter of fact, setting a national example of that. All this is why we are turning to visibly show what the sciences are doing at Dickinson. All the subject matter that is going into the new buildings, it's already here. Nanoscience, bioinformatics, all the new areas, all the connective uh, disciplines are already here. But this building is permitting those disciplines to advance for instruction, and for learning much more readily and obviously to showcase the sciences that are occurring.